Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Back in the year 1931, a number of artefacts were discovered in the Marsoulas cave in southern France. One such item was a large conch shell, also known as a sea snail, that was believed to have been a communal or ceremonial cup used by the Magdalenian hunter-gatherers who roamed the region surrounding the Pyrenees mountains towards the end of the last ice age. Recently, the items from the cave have been re-examined and using modern high-tech imaging technology, researchers have realised that this conch shell is not a cup at all. It is in fact a musical instrument. This is because the shell was purposefully reshaped by humans, engineered in such a way to produce clear and distinct musical notes C, D and C sharp. And at the end of this video, I'll show you exactly how the instrument sounds. Radiocarbon dating places the shell to approximately 15,000 BC and it was deposited in the Marsoulas Caves, which are already famous for an impressive collection of cave wall paintings, paintings that are so prominent across Europe at this time. As stated on ancientorigins.net, the shell does look quite standard to the untrained eye. It doesn't look altered or shaped in any way and we can only really see evidence of shaping using the modern high-tech equipment. The shell's apex was deliberately removed to create room for a mouthpiece, which was anchored inside the shell in two small holes that had been chipped out in the shell's interior. It was drilled to make two openings, one to allow air to enter and one to exit. This allowed someone to produce specific musical notes with the object. The lip of the shell was also modified, which experts believe was so the object could be held easily. There are also faded fingerprints using red ochre pigment, and these are found on the inside of the shell. This implies it was once a decorated artefact, maybe in a similar style to what we see on the cave walls. Other ancient instruments from this time period in Europe include flutes and whistles made from bone, so this shell instrument is more unusual in the archaeological record in this part of the world although Paleolithic conch shell instruments are found across the world. They were either musical instruments, calling or signalling devices, possibly sacred or magical objects to a specific culture. And it's fascinating that the instrument was found in context with the cave paintings. It helps paint a better picture of this lost ancient culture. The paintings of the Marsoulas cave consist of a 330 foot long gallery of red ochre paintings, with animals such as bison, anthropomorphic figures with mask-like faces, as well as the usual geometric shapes that are often associated with Paleolithic art. Some believe that the cave art is the product of hallucinogenic, altered states of consciousness, possibly important ceremonies led by the group Shaman. Then the people drew what the Shaman saw on the walls of the cave. Some believe that musical stimulation was part of these ceremonies, with people drumming, singing and playing instruments, whilst the shaman ingests a psychoactive substance. These ceremonies are believed to have happened in caves, due to them being viewed as a kind of spiritual realm of the underworld, as well as the natural acoustics a cave produces, and also the overall atmosphere created. Therefore, such ceremonies may not just explain the cave paintings we see, but also the purpose of the musical instrument as well, and maybe the musical notes produced by the shell help to encourage the shaman to have a shift in consciousness. The discovery of paint within the shell, the same paint that was used on the walls of the cave, means it's the first time that such a relationship between music and cave art has been found in European prehistory. The team of researchers that are working on the shell are set to return to the Marsoulas cave with the object. They plan to play the instrument in its original environment, record the sounds and then report on what they discover. So, without further ado, I'll now play the sounds of a 17,000 year old musical instrument. And, please comment your thoughts below.
thank you very much for watching this new story from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.